Hey guys, back with another video. Today I thought I would do some corrupting and I can give a little guide and overview of exactly what I'm doing and, uh, and explain the corruption system a little bit about Path of Diablo real quick and then get into the items. So I got some pretty cool items to corrupt today. I don't want to waste too much time, so I'll just get right into it. Uh, if you're coming from Vanilla Diablo 2, you may not recognize uh, this item right here. It's an orb of corruption. When you're playing Path of Diablo, these will drop um, once you reach about monster level 40. And what you can do with them is you throw an orb of corruption along with a clean, freshly identified item into your cube, transmute, and uh, you have a random event will occur to that item. The possibilities are you you roll a random um, item modificator on, so you get an extra mod to the item. Uh, if it is socketable, you could roll sockets. Uh, nothing could happen, and you just keep the, the item as is, and you can no longer corrupt it. Or you could brick it. And uh, what happens when that happens is it rolls into a random rare item of the same type of item that it is, and it's most of the time worthless, uh, unless you roll a really good rare uh, ring or maybe some tri res boots, something along that, those lines. But that's the outcome that we never want to see. So without further ado, I'll just get right into it. Uh, we'll start off with, I think I've got a Tal's armor right here in the cube. Uh, for this item, we want to roll sockets, so there's a 25% chance that we will roll some sort of sockets. And then the potential sockets that we can roll are up to four, so between one and four. Of course, we want the max roll, so we're hoping for four sockets on this Tal's armor and all of the other armors that I have. So, let's get into it. That is a brick, and hopefully that's our only one. Um, you know, that's wishful thinking, but if it could happen to anything, I was hoping it happened to that house. Uh, that was the warm-up. Now we'll throw in the Storm Shield. So this is another item that can get sockets. Hoping for four sockets on this. Okay, we, we rolled sockets, but only one. So it saves us a socket quest. Not too bad. Let's get into the Helms. So Andy's Visions. This is another potential for sockets. We want to roll three sockets on this, if possible. And we bricked it. It's okay. We're getting into the big items. So here's a gaze. So what we had to do with this, in order to get the maximum roll of sockets for three, we had to up it in the cube with a Lemco and Perfect Diamond, just as you would on vanilla. That makes us able to get a maximum of three sockets when we corrupt. So wish me luck. Okay, this did not brick. It looks like it did not roll a mod. So this was a corrupted, no change. Uh, we'll hold on to that. They still have some value. Uh, you could always throw it on a Merce or something like that. So next, why don't we do these wind forces? So these can roll up to six sockets. And... Uh, that's going to be what we're trying for today. First roll. Not seeing any any significant mod on that. Looks like a corrupted no change. Let's get into the next one. Okay, this one rolled deadly strike. I mean, we're really hoping for the sockets on. It's, these mods are not not very useful. And this one was another corrupted change. Okay, so we haven't gotten any really good rolls yet. Uh, let's get into the rings. So we've got a couple BK rings here. The Wisp, we're going to save for last. So I really want to roll PDR on one of these for my buddy. Let's see if we can do it. First roll. PDR. First try. Awesome. That's for you, Mark. Save that. 
Oh, I'm so happy I did that. Okay. That's CNC. So for rings, since they can't get sockets, you have a 50% chance for no change to happen. 25% chance for sockets. Uh, sorry, 25% chance for a random mod. And then a 25% chance for the brick. The odds that I got this PDR was 5%. I had a 5% roll of 5% chance of rolling uh, physical damage reduction. And then of those, you either get 5 or 6. And I got 6, which is the perfect roll. Uh, so there was only a 2.5% chance actually of rolling that. And I did. So pretty happy about that. Okay. Let's see what we get on this one. Another mod, 15 life. That's not one of the mods we want to see. Uh, I like rolling rings because you can get a number of good mods. So you saw here we got physical damage reduction. Some other outcomes are faster run walk, which are great, and faster cast rate, which is also great. So there are three really cool mods that you can ro roll on rings. Uh, 15 life is it's not nothing, but you know we we want better than that. So last BK ring, let's see how we do. We did not break any of them, which is great. So we started to get into a little higher value items here, and we have not bricked one. So uh, happy with that. Next, we'll do these griffins. Start off with the 1517, pretty good roll. Uh, here we want sockets again, so three sockets would be great. Oh, shoot, and we did it. All right, three socket roll on the griffins. Oh, why didn't I start with 1520? All right, let's see what are the chances we get two three socket griffins in a row. Let's try it out. Wish me luck. All right, we didn't break it. Oh, shit, are you kidding me? We just rolled two. Holy crap, damn. Two three socket griffin rolls. Hey, I mean, just look at the name of my character. They don't call me lucky for nothing. All right. Oh man, I definitely used up all my luck there. All right, materials time. So these we're also looking for sockets on. Um, would love four sockets on one of these. Uh, it's pretty cool armor. Wasn't much use for it in vanilla, even though it has really cool mods on it. And Path of Diablo with four sockets, one of the best in slot items for a lot of characters. So four sockets on one of these would be really cool. Let's go. All right, this rolled faster cast rate. Not sure if anyone uses that. All right, no brick. Oh, shit, four slug materials. Oh, my God, let's go. Damn. I'm glad I decided to record this. All right, uh, can we get another? All right, this looks like a CNC, so corrupt and no change. You also hear people in pod refer to it as slamming. Um, so if you hear that, they're just talking about corrupting. Um, so I think, oh, this was my best materials too. 27, 29 with 93 damage to demons. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, last one. Let's go. One socket. All right. Well, hey, pretty happy with these slams. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, we saved the best for last. This wisp, we haven't gotten a brick in a while. So I am fully expecting a brick on this. Uh, anything other than that, I'll be pleasantly surprised. We've got a 12 absorb, 20 MF. Those are both perfect with four faster run walk. Be really cool to roll like faster cast rate on this, but like I said, expecting the brick. So there it is. What are you gonna do? Um, I think it was pretty successful though. Pretty cool rolls. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. We'll probably give give most of this stuff away. Um, Hope you enjoyed the content, and I will see you around.